Welcome to the video series for Semantic Messaging Gateway. In this video, you'll learn how to change settings on your existing Semantic Messaging Gateway appliance to protect inbound mail to Office 365. In the process, you'll also need to change settings in Office 365. Let's take a look at how Semantic Messaging Gateway can protect incoming and outgoing mail when you switch to Office 365. Semantic Messaging Gateway uses your existing policies to filter your inbound mail, eliminating spam, malware, advanced threats, and unacceptable content, and then sends the filtered mail to Office 365 for delivery. Semantic Messaging Gateway can also scan your outbound mail from Office 365, applying policies and filters to make sure outgoing mail does not violate your company's standards and that your confidential information remains confidential. We'll set up protection for outbound mail in another video. In this video, we'll cover the four basic steps to change Semantic Messaging Gateway inbound protections from your old mail service to Office 365. First, let's get an overview. Step 1. Add your domains to Office 365. If you already moved your mail service to Office 365, you already completed this step. Step 2. Add your Semantic Messaging Gateway IP address to the allowed IP list in Office 365. This whitelists all incoming traffic from Semantic Messaging Gateway. Any Office 365 spam protection that you've set up will be disabled, but all other Office 365 filters, such as antivirus, are not affected. Step 3. Edit each local domain in Semantic Messaging Gateway to add the Office 365 address. This allows Semantic Messaging Gateway to send the filtered mail to Office 365 instead of to your old mail server. While you're at it, Semantic recommends that you enable TLS encryption to secure the connection to the Office 365 cloud service. Step 4. Make sure your MX record points to Semantic Messaging Gateway. If you changed your MX record when you switched to Office 365, for example, you'll need to change it back. If your MX record is still pointing to Semantic Messaging Gateway, you won't have to make any changes. Now let's look at each step in detail. First, add your domains to Office 365. In the Office 365 Admin Center, off the home page, click Domains, Add a Domain, and enter the domain information. When you're finished, make a note of the MX address on the Office 365 confirmation page. Office 365 assumes you will add it to your MX record. Instead, you'll add this address to Semantic Messaging Gateway because you want your incoming mail from the internet to be filtered before it reaches Office 365. Make sure you add the other information on this screen to your DNS record. If you need to see this screen again, you can find it under the Settings page for the domain. Refer to the Office 365 Help for more information. Next, add the Semantic Messaging Gateway IP address to the Allowed IP list in Office 365. This whitelists Semantic Messaging Gateway as a sender, so all your inbound emails are accepted by Office 365. In the Exchange Admin Center, or EAC, Select Protection, Connection Filter, and then double-click the default policy. Click Connection Filtering and add the delivery IP address of your Semantic Messaging Gateway to the IP Allow list. If you have a control center with multiple scanners, make sure you add all the IP addresses to the IP Allow list, including the IP address of the control center. Refer to the Office 365 Help if you need more information. Now let's look at how to edit your domain in Semantic Messaging Gateway to send your filtered inbound mail to Office 365 for delivery. In the Semantic Messaging Gateway Control Center, select Protocols, Domains. Select the domain that you just added to Office 365 and click the Edit button, or just click the link for the domain. On the Edit Domain page, Make sure Local Domain, except Inbound Mail addressed to this domain, is selected. Then click the Delivery tab. On the Delivery tab, select Optionally Route the Domain or Email Address. Then select Destination Hosts, click Add, and in the Host field, 
Enter the MX address that was displayed on the Office 365 confirmation screen when you added the domain to Office 365. Because you're now sending the filtered mail to a cloud service, Symantec recommends that you add encryption to the domain. Select Optional Delivery Encryption, and then select Require TLS Encryption and Verify Certificate. Click Save. Last step. Check your DNS settings to make sure your MX record points to Semantic Messaging Gateway. Your incoming email is now directed to Semantic Messaging Gateway, which applies your existing policies and then sends the filtered mail to Office 365 for delivery. Thank you.